Hi there, I'm Paul Kirtley, founder of the award-winning Frontier Bushcraft and author of Paul Kirtley's blog, the leading source of wilderness bushcraft advice and information on the net. Now, one of the things people ask me about a lot is water purification. And in particular, people ask me, how long do they need to boil their water for? Is boiling enough to make their water safe to drink? There's lots of pathogenic organisms out there. There's Cryptosporidium, there's Giardia, there's Hepatitis A, there's loads of bacteria. There's all this stuff in the water that can make you ill or you know, even kill you in, in, in extremists. So is boiling enough? And if so, how long do you need to boil for? Well, that's what I'm gonna share with you in this video and you'll go away with a very clear understanding of what you need to do. This stream here may seem like an unlikely source of drinking water. It actually looks quite clear though, but it's small, it's muddy bottom, there's lots of insects in it, um, lots of little shrimp swimming around in it, and there's dragonflies and all sorts of things. And also there are lots of deer in this area, and the, just over here there are deer prints where the deer have clearly walked through the, the stream. So we can safely assume that this is not safe to drink, but how do we make it safe? And the key question is, is boiling enough to make this safe? Well, provided the water's visibly clean and doesn't have lots of turbidity in it, we don't need to filter any of that particulate matter out. And we can simply then just boil the water um, and that will kill all of the pathogenic organi organisms in there, including things like Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Um, any waterborne um, viruses such as Hepatitis A as well will be killed by that. Hepatitis A is one of the viruses which is considered more heat resistant than, than some. Um, and anything like E. coli, Legionnaire's disease, cholera, all of those nasties are going to be killed by heat. The Center for Disease Control in the States, they recommend one minute of rolling boil. And if you don't know what rolling boil is in the context of your own home, a good example is what your kettle does. If you use an automatic electric kettle, what your kettle does just before it switches itself off. When it's bubbling around, a vigorous boil, that's a rolling boil. And that's what you're looking for. Um, most pathogenic organisms will be killed at a lower temperature than that, but obviously you can't visibly tell the temperature, particularly if you're camping, just by looking at it. So if you bring it to a rolling boil and let it bubble away for a minute, that conforms with what's considered to be best practice. Now, if you're working at um, a higher elevation, if you're working at altitude, then it can be worth boiling your water for longer because water boils at a lower temperature. As the air pressure drops as you go up in altitude, that will mean that water will boil at a temperature below 100 degrees Celsius. And therefore, again, Center for the Disease Control, um, they recommend around three minutes of rolling boil above 2,000 meters. Um, or two kilometers. So that's best practice. Bring your water to a rolling boil, let it bubble away for a minute at sea level, a little bit more when you're higher up, and that will kill all the pathogenic organisms which are gonna cause you any sort of trouble whatsoever. So there you have it, it really is very simple. As long as you bring your water to a rolling boil, you're gonna have all the clean drinking water that you need. All of this is perfectly drinkable as long as you bring it to a nice rolling boil. The CDC recommend one minute at sea level as best practice, and if you're over 2,000 meters in elevation, then three minutes just to be sure. And that's all you need to do. It really is very simple. So I hope you find that useful. If you like this video, please go to, over to my blog where you're gonna get 20 more free videos just like this one, full of lots of useful tips and tricks on bushcraft, survival skills, and things that will enhance your outdoor life. Um, that's over at paulkirtley.co.uk. And of course, if you have friends that would find this video useful, please share it with them too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.